guys, my name is Sarah Edwards, and this is my art for sitting today. I am here at Crystal Bridges in Bentonville, Arkansas, and if you haven't had a chance to make it out here, you definitely should. Crystal Bridges has a lot to offer, many pieces of art on the inside, and the fun trails to walk on the outside. As I was walking around the museum, many pieces of art caught my eye. But of the 400 plus pieces, this piece here really drew me in. This is Devorah Ferber's After Grant Wood, American Gothic II. It is fairly young, being made in 2006. The plaque to the right tells us that this is made of 986 spools of thread. Looking at it first, it is hard to tell what it may be. One might think it is just a random arrangement of spools, but once you look through this viewing sphere, you see it is not just 986 thread spools randomly gathered together, it is actually Grant Wood's American Gothic, which originates back to 1930. You will also notice that this is actually upside down. This is because once you look through the viewing sphere, the image flips 180 degrees and the spools condense and shrink. Now this image is recognizable to us as Wood's American Gothic. This is not Devorah's only spool work. She has many others. She has been doing spool work since 1999 and has since had an exhibition open called The Eye of the Artist, The Work of Devorah Sperber, which debuted at the Brooklyn Museum in 2007. The largest piece she has done is 60,000 spools of thread, and the title of that piece is Reflections. Devorah is a very talented artist. Not only has she done work with spools, she also does work with beads. Here's a really cool one that I found titled Bikinis, Bandanas, and a VW Bus. The methodology of After Grant Wood is psychoanalysis. Devorah was very creative with her recreation of Grant Wood's American Gothic. She took a piece of art from 1930 and changed the way people look at it through a viewing sphere. Psychoanalysis deals with imagery, history, and creativity. Devorah is clearly creative with her work of thread spools and beads. She uses history by using historic pieces of art and revamping them. Devorah uses imagery by changing how people view the art. One does not simply just stand in front of her piece of art. You have to look through viewing spheres to get the whole effect of what she is portraying with her work. Devorah is very expressive with her artwork. She is interested in the link between art, science, and technology. How the eyes and brain prioritize in reality as a subjective experience versus the absolute truth. Quoted by Sperber. This piece is asymmetrically balanced on both sides and sticks with a color scheme. The form on the left is elongated, making it drastically asymmetrical. Since it is since it is made of mostly dark colors, the eye is drawn to the lighter shades and the thread spools that gather toward the bottom. The intensity of the colors change due to the addition of white, which softens the colors at the bottom. The contrast between dark and light help the eye better distinguish where the faces of the man and woman may be. The original American Gothic falls in the regionalism period. However, what Sperber is doing with her school work falls under an entirely different time period. With this being new, it is challenging to label which period the art would be from. I would group this piece under mid-20th century pop art. Devorah is being innovative with her use of spools and making her work fun and interesting to look at. She says that her interest in biology of vision grew from her desire to understand how viewers experience her work. In an article I found, Sperber says that the thread spool installations illustrate specific visual experiences related to the science of vision. I chose After Grant Wood, American Gothic II because it drew me in the most of all the pieces of art here. The second I saw it, I ran over to it and examined it for a long period of time. I knew from that moment that this is what I wanted to take my time researching and learn more about. I love how at first you are not able to tell what this arrangement of thread spools is until you look through the viewing sphere and you are just taken back by Sperber's creativity. If you were to go to Crystal Bridges Museum today, you would not be able to find After Grant Wood's American Gothic II. According to Connie, a Crystal Bridges docent, Devorah's pieces of work must be put away up to five years after being on display for so many months. They do this because her work is so light sensitive and want to be sure the colors do not fade. After the Last Supper will be coming back on display in just a few short months. 
If you would like to see some of Devorah's work in person, Crystal Bridges will be the place to go this summer.